Eco Heidi loves to turn trash into treasure. She is back today with a fan favorite eco project, and everything is coming up roses. I'm delighted to welcome Eco Heidi Borchers. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Tia. How many of you go every week and have a cup of coffee somewhere or a cup of tea, and you just throw the cup into the trash? Well, you know, about six or eight months ago, I, I went to our local um, Starbucks store and put in my artwork using my, my eco um, flowers and things. And I was saving some of their trash and you would not believe how many millions of cups they throw away um, every single day. And they have 10%, um, they're made with 10% post-consumer recycled fiber. So that's good, but is it good enough? How about we craft with them? Tiff, why don't you put up the, um, the picture of what I'm going to show you today, and I will get my camera going so you can see how to make these. I know some of you have, um, have made these before, but um, we're going to show it again because the holidays, I, I would love to see people who give gift cards to kind of make these into it and, and give a gift card on it. Okay, so yes, I'm kind of strangling my cup, and this will work on any of the cups, and I kind of just kind of squish, squish, and you also can just kind of step on it, step on it, rearrange it, push it, and these are the cardboard cups. These are the cardboard cups, and this one is a little bit bigger cup than I'm usually using, and I can kind of manipulate it where I want it, kind of push. Now, at this point, I would put it on the ground and I would step on it. And this is what I would have is right here. So the next thing that I would do is I would put a little hole in the side and I stick a um, skewer stick. Stick. You can also take one of their stir sticks. They have wooden stir sticks that um, they have in the stores. And I just put it in like that. And I, I usually just put a little bit of glue here and a little bit of glue here. And you could use hot glue if you want. Um, if you don't want to use hot glue, this is a great glue to use because it leans um, super thick because it's really, really thick. And it holds the, the hard to hold things. So now we have our base of our flower. If you want to make it into a rose, you're going to take the top of the cup. You're going to cut it off and you're just going to simply roll. Roll, roll, roll. Now this one I can tell is a little bit too long for the, for the flower that I'm putting it into because it's a smaller cup. So you're going to roll, and at the last couple inches or the last inch, you're going to put some glue on it, and that's your center to your flower. So I have one here already glued. So then what I would do is I would put some glue in here in the corner and just kind of stick in my center. That's if you want to make it into a rose. And a lot of times I will take like a clothespin and kind of, oops, <laughs> kind of click it in there until it dries. Like, oops, <laughs> like that. That has to dry like that. Okay, the next thing I do is I paint it black. I like it when all my um, my colors kind of stand out more if you kind of build the colors when you have the black. Now, I'm going to give a little lesson um, really quick on paint. I, I, like everyone else, love to find paint that is inexpensive. I, I buy the inexpensive ones. Um, I buy every kind of brand I can, but I have to tell you that there is one brand that they still put, whether it's opaque or not. And um, this brand here, which is by Delta, actually, let me give you one of their new, on all their paint, they'll tell you whether it's translucent, whether it's semi-opaque, or whether it's opaque. And it's such a great thing because on a project like this, you want it as opaque as you can get it. And I can even see that I can tell the difference between the paints. Okay, now we're going to take a brush and we're just going to start 
just start painting. And this is really cool because anybody can do this. You don't have to be an artist, you just paint it on. I put a little bit of pink there and I just keep painting it on. Paint, paint, paint. Paint. And then I let it dry a little bit and then I put a little bit more on. And, or, you know what? I might just like it like this. But if you put a little bit of pink and you put a little bit of red, you can get a really cool rose. And if you want to paint the back, you can do that too. Now for the, for the stem, I paint it green. And just put some paint on it. And then I also have these wonderful um, sleeves that they put on or have a great texture on them. So I make, I just cut a leaf out of them and just put a little bit of paint on the leaf. That one has a little tear, so we're gonna have a little bit different. Just put a little bit of paint, 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 paint. And we're gonna put that leaf right like that. So you have a rose. Now, I think I have enough time. Let's say you wanna put a little tag on it because you're gonna give it to a friend. Now, wouldn't this be a great gift for like a, a friend in the office? Again, not spending very much money and you could put like a, even like a little gift card on the back of it. You could tape, tape a little gift card to the back of that. So I used these that you get from the office supply and to color them, you're just gonna put a little bit of water, just go right over them and then you're gonna wipe them off. And that's what you have for the, for the, to colorize the card. And then I just printed any, my little saying onto the, um, and, and photocopied it so I could color it. And um, there you have a little cute way to give a gift. Oops. <laughs> now I'm done with that. If, was there any questions? What did I use for the stem? The stem is a, um, a skewer stick, or you can also um, you can also make it with the um, Starbucks has like wooden steer st um, this the stirring sticks too. I used one flower and just a top of another one if you want to make it into a rose. If you just want if you just want to do a flower, you don't have to do. You can just use one. That's just the flower. Um, try doing them. The, they do have the wax. You can do them with the little Dixie cups because um, I'm doing that project for the um, for the little um, school that I do. And as long as you paint it with like um, like a Rust-Oleum or spray paint, you can you can make them work. These have a little bit of a wax on them, not too much. So um, <laughs> thanks everyone. Uh, and if there's any other questions, I'll answer them in the chat room.